kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. This is the final video on this Murray 500E 21 inch cut. It's a 2017 model year. This one was a, a little bit of a stinker. I bought it with no compression. The push rod on the intake valve had fallen off, rectified that went through the carburetor twice. The third time I changed out the carburetor after noticing it had an aftermarket replacement carburetor. Somebody had put a new carb on it. Once I changed out the carb with a used one it, it ran fine. I used it last weekend to pick up leaves in my front yard which I'll do again today. Hopefully it starts after sitting for seven days. So I wanted to go over a few things about the uh, carburetor on these. If you end up with a Chinese aftermarket carburetor. Let me switch over to the tailgate here. So this is the carburetor in question. This is what I pulled off of the Murray. No marking on it. Chinese aftermarket carburetor. What I've found with these is they put in one size jet and usually it's very small and the unit won't run. As you remember with this Murray it would run for a few seconds and then quit. So what you need to do to rectify that is remove the bowl on the bottom of the carburetor which will expose your jet assembly. There's two brass jets in this white cartridge assembly. So what I do is use my small screwdriver set that I got from Dollar Tree for $1.25. The price went up. So you get a few flat heads and a few Phillips heads in this small kit and these small flat heads are perfect for removing the cartridge assembly and I'll show you how to do that when you have the bowl removed the cartridge assembly will be exposed like this so on the opposite side of the jet which is here I take the small screwdriver and insert the screwdriver and this whole assembly will pop up. There's an o-ring here. Gasket to prevent any leakage. So this will pop out. Once you have it out to thoroughly clean these cartridges and to work on the main jet here on the bottom this centerpiece comes off, take your small screwdriver, insert it here at the base, squeeze it in there and then pry up. This whole centerpiece comes out exposing these emulsion tube holes. If your carburetor is really dirty, some of these holes will be plugged up. You want to clean out these holes. And then you have another jet here at the bottom. Make sure that one's clean. You don't have to enlarge this one here. The, the one I mess with is this bottom jet. So I bought a set of small micro drill bits. The reason why I like these small ones is they have a larger shank here which will fit in a small battery.
powered drill. So what you want to do is try your smallest smallest drill bit, see if it'll fit in that jet. So this one's already been drilled out. If, the, it, if it was this Chinese one, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit in here. So I would start with the smallest drill bit in these sets and drill that out. And then try it, put it all back together, put it on the machine, start it. If it's surging and starving for fuel, come back to your set and work up to the second smallest drill bit. It may be a little trial and error for you to get the unit to run smoothly. What I've found usually the smaller one of the the uh, second one here in line will do the trick. So there, there you go on that. When you're reassembling the bowl, be sure to put the bowl on properly. It goes on one way and one way only. If you see the bottom of the bowl here, there's a little small cavity which the gas accumulates in. Right there. When you're putting the the bowl back on, you want to make sure that that divot lines up with the jet here because this is where the gas is going to get sucked in from that gas pool cut out. So when you put it on, eyeball the cartridge, eyeball the divot here. So that would be the proper way because the the uh, divot lines up with the intake jet. This would be wrong. Your little gas pool is on the opposite side of the jet. That's correct. It can go on either way. The holes will line up so you don't want to have it on backwards just eyeball it and then you're good to go so let me turn you around see if this thing's gonna start after a week for picking up these oak leaves I have the front wheels kind of close to the ground as I'm pushing it along it helps in sucking up the leaves I don't have the front wheels on the highest position I have them kind of close to the ground Sorry, I just kicked you in the leg. Didn't mean to do that. So there you have it. This one will be ready to go. I'll clean it up nicely. It still has a lot of debris on the deck. And then this one will be put in the to-go pile for this spring. Right now, haven't sold a mower in three months. It's uh, winter time here in Florida. Grass isn't growing at all. So all I've been doing is stockpiling for season.
It's 75 degrees, great day to be working outside. Sorry for all you kids and cadets in the northern climates. I've read it's kind of brisk in your locations. I appreciate you coming out and checking out Tommy Time. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate all you kids and cadets watching my channel. Have a great day.